Hello everyone, this is long. Why, why is everything so dark? Uh, I, I, let's see here. Uh, okay, I'm in the mainframe and go. Nintendo. There we are. Now you can see me. Unlucky for you. But yes, that sound in the beginning there. Yoshi's story. My god, that's a good old classic game. And I really hope we one day will get maybe a remake or a continue on the, sh the game because it is just an incredible funny game and i played it a lot as a kid but talking about the past they revealed on nintendo direct today super mario rpg remake and that's amazing i love that game that game is oh god i didn't play it super much as a kid because i honestly didn't have it there was and i didn't know anyone that had it either and it wasn't until i was a little bit older and could <coughs> down the road, uh, you know divine intervention could play it you know and i love it i still have it on a floppy disk somewhere <coughs> not i mean <laughs> yeah don't kill me nintendo so I'm super excited for that. Now I just hope we get like Yoshi's Stories remake. I would love that. Or a continue on game. I would love that too. But you know what? We're gonna check out this trailer and a bunch of others that was revealed on today's Nintendo Direct. Baby, baby. I am a bald man with no hair. Yay, yay. Okay, I do have hair, but it's somewhere else. <laughs> oh my, it is so red. <laughs> Luckily, I'm no bull, but I am a bullshitter, I guess. But, yes, let's jump right into this and have ourselves a look on the Super Mario RPG remake trailer. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I love this style of pixels and stuff. It is so cool. Yeah. My God, <laughs> that is so cute! I love it. Oh, oh. God! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> God, this is... This is amazing! <laughs> that is one wacky look you do. A new grand adventure. Oh my god. Well, a, a new old adventure, I guess I should say. <laughs> oh. 17th November, right on my fucking birthday. This is. Perfect. <laughs> it's meant to be. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I guess I know what I should try to get my grubby hands on on my birthday if I have I can afford it, of course. <laughs> but oh my god. Dude. This is so Oh my god, I love this. This is a new old adventure and see Mal Mallow again, the little cloudy guy. Oh. Why don't we have, like, another game with Mallow or stuff like that? I think that would be really neat. I would love that. I adore the little guy. See the little fella. I think it's amazing. But, yeah, I love this game. This game is so cool because it's so different from everything else Super Mario. Considering the turn base and stuff like that. And I'm happy they keep the turn base because 
I probably just me being old. And old gay, crampy gay. I can't even talk. Um, the heat is probably melting my brain a little bit, but you know, I'm an old man, and I, I like turn-based. You know, it doesn't mean so. I don't need to like stress around with like, uh, uh, my choice, my choice. Uh, I can say like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. You know, no stress, just enjoying the ride, and. I like this, and the style is so... I love this, it's so cute. My god. Mario RPG, yay! <laughs> Look at this, it's adorable, I love it. Dude, this is amazing. Oh boy. Dude, I, I can't wait to play this game. And I never actually beat the original game, I will say. I got very far in it. But then, I don't remember what happened. And I kind of forgot about it. And, yeah. That kind of thing that happens. So I'm super excited and I definitely need to get this and play through this game. Because this got to be a blast. I love to see it. And I love to see, you know, the remakes like this. I think that is just super fun. I mean, sure, I love when they can make new good games, but I will say, seeing like part of your childhood in a new package like this, it is, it is fun to see, I will have to say. It makes me happy. Oh, God. Oh, my God. But you know what? We have some more trails to check out, so let's jump into those. And we have Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Hidden Treasure of Zero. Area, Area Zero. Um, I haven't played this now in a while. Uh, I haven't played my Switch in a while, actually, at all. It comes in periods, you know. Now I've been playing a lot of Valheim, so I've been nerding that a lot. But uh, then I come in a period where I'm playing a lot of Pokemon Scarlet and, well, other Pokemon games. And, yeah, I'm a very periodical gamer, man. So let's see what kind of hidden treasures they will have in Area Zero. Ah. I will say, with its flaws, I enjoyed the game. Pokemon Scarlet was really fun, and well, is really fun. I love the concept. You know, the different ways you can go, like... Um, if you want to go, like, do you want to go Pokemon Train? Well, you know, the classic gym leaders, the dealing with a bad guy, well bad guys and stuff like that though in the end you did everything but you could take it in which, or which order you wanted which i think was really nice you know hidden treasures of area zero yes oh damn that's a centred yay glisco the teal mask Ooh, my. Four pigs! The bird I never cared about. There was like 20 of them in different colors. Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon, though, is probably still my favorite Pokemon game. Probably very, like, uh, controversial thing to say, but I, I really liked it. My god, I like the story in it. That's a fancy hair you got there, come on. Kieran. Kieran Doyle! Is that you? <gasps> Pacina! Oh, It's amazing. I love to see some all the classic Pokemons, you know. What are those? That is some. F that is some funky stuff. My God. Okay, that is kind of cool mask. Yeah, I, I will admit. That's looking cool though. And there seem to be some new Pokemon stuff there. Well, not some new Pokemon's. They look very funky though. I can look back on them after we're done. 
Sirana will go to Blueberry Academy. Part with Indigo Desk. <gasps> terror, terror. Damn, that's cool. You going? And see. Oh, Metagro. Oh, God. It's so nice to see so many amazing Pokemons back here. My God. Oh, the guitar's playing, bruh. That is some funky looking little thing. That is some funny little thing there. Oh my. Oh god. Uh, plan released on fall and winter. My god. Dude, I, I'm curious. Because seriously, that I love when can add in new stuff. Though the question is how much will this cost? This the I hate that they do that. It's so expensive, Nintendo. Nintendo is expensive, my god. But yeah, wait, we're gonna look at this. It looks like a green incineroar, doesn't it? And then you have this weird monkey. The bird look kinda okay. It's a little bit wild, but uh, otherwise they're looking kinda eh. Not, not super like excited for them, but uh, at least it's something new. I don't know what's with that. Is that like balloon? Balloon mons? Well, that would be something. I'm a fan of that. Pop them, dumb. Pop them. That <laughs> guy would be awful. Oh, God. But, yeah. Some new Pokemon stuff. I'm excited for that. And a Dizzy Mingino. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I love how it just go there cleaning with its tail. Like, fluff, fluff, fluff. Uh. <laughs> it's so adorable. Oh my god. But, you know what? We're gonna jump over to the next one. Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. Okay, now I don't don't know if is this gonna be a collection of all the Metal Gear Solid games. Because the very first one for PlayStation, it's not the very first Metal Gear game. The very first one was actually to Nintendo 8-bit. I played it quite a bit because we have it. Uh, you know, I grew up with the game and all. But it was super hard and it just beat the living crappers out of me. And I didn't get into Metal Gear Solid, well, until Metal Gear Solid was released on PlayStation all these years. And it is easily one of the best games ever, for me at least. It is just such a good game, such good characters, such good story, and in general, just a fantastic game. I still shock in A when I first time met Psycho Mantis and he started to read my fucking memory card. I was like, okay, th uh, okay, this is this is weird. Uh, you, uh, stop. <laughs> so fucking cool. So cool. But you know what? Let's check this out. The Who's there? Series of stealth action games is infiltrating Nintendo <laughs> Switch <laughs> as Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume One. Oh, this snake eater. Metal Gear Solid. Infiltrate yeah. and regain control of Shadow Moses Island. Metal Gear Solid 2. Sons oh, of Liberty. Yeah. Locate and retrieve a deadly amphibious weapon. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid 3. Snake Eater. Survive That's the jungle and confront your former so mentor. Good. You can also enjoy the games that started the series. Yeah. Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2. Solid Snake. As well as the NES Man. versions of both that, Metal that. Gear and Snake's Revenge. Oh, I didn't even know Snake's Revenge was a thing. This compilation <laughs> also contains <laughs> the <laughs> first Metal Gear Solid digital graphic novel. Hurt me more. My god. Additional content includes screenplay books and master mm. books with story and Man. info. Strategy guides for each game. And a That's digital nice. soundtrack. I'm at Metal all for Gear that. Oh Solid my god. Master Collection Volume 1 launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. 
pre-orders begin today on this today. The first Booba. three Metal Gear Solid games will also be available separately on Nintendo eShop. Okay, that's pretty nice though. If you just want to buy a certain game, you don't need to buy an entire thing, though the Tencent. I mean if you pay like ten bucks extra and you get everything, you might as well do that to be honest. <laughs> but oh my god. Yeah, this this was the game. I remember these dogs. This fucking game was my very first exposure as a little lad playing Metal Gear. My god. Oh yo 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 dude. But I didn't know that Snake's Revenge was even a game. And I haven't seen these games before. I think I saw someone actually speedrun this game some time ago. It was really cool how he like you know, speedrunners in general are awesome. I fucking love it, my god. But yeah. This 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 series is such a good game, you know? Metal Gear, this game is so good. And if you haven't played it, try it out. It is such a good game. Definitely worth I mean, sure, it's now, of course, depends on what kind of games you kind of like. You know, if you don't like this, uh, it's it's not like super action, like fast-paced actions, most of the time at least. But it is a good game. Really, really worth it. So I'm excited for this pack. Oh my god, I gotta try this out. Oh boy. I actually did a Let's Play on Metal Gear Solid here on this channel. But I... I needed to uh, stop at Psychomatis because since I'm downloading this on an emulator playing because uh, I, I couldn't get my PlayStation connected so I could play it with the console I have. Uh, so at the boss fight, it kind of fucked up because to beat, I won't spoil it, but those that know Psychomantis know that you need to do certain thing, which I couldn't do because I was playing on an emulator, so sadly. Uh, but. Maybe it could work with this, so let's do that. But you know what? We have some more things to check out, so let's do that. Here we have another classic, Luigi's Mansion's Dark Moon. Which is sad, because I never actually got to play it, because I never got access to the game, you know? But I did play the very first game, and I have played the third game, which is... The third game is really good. So I'm actually, I am kind of surprised that they make an... Uh, uh, I assume a remake or a conversion to the Switch. Oh, uh, that's okay, okay. Uh, let's check this out. It's very short. A visually enhanced mm. version of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, originally released on <laughs> Nintendo 3DS, is in development. Yeah, that was 3DS. I hope you look forward to seeing more of Luigi's ghostly antics. Mm, yes. Spooky. Yes. Very short, but spot on. Okay, so I'm excited to see this. Because uh, th then, me, as a noob that never got to play the original version, can try it out. And uh, yeah, honestly, I love to see more Luigi. I, f I, l I really like these, uh, you know, Luigi Mansion games. I think they are really fun. And uh, very different from other Mario games and stuff like that. So I I'm excited for it. So, but you know what? We have some more stuff to watch. So here we have New Princess Peach game coming 2024. I'm kind of curious about that. I I I I'm, I just think it's very nice to see some more Peach games as well because you know she is pretty peachy. I would have to say. <laughs> so let's check this one out. It's pretty short, so. No, but uh. That's right. Princess Peach will star as the main character in a brand new game. When she steps on this particular spot on stage. Huh? Cinderella? What on earth is happening? That's all we'll show for now. Oh, we'll show oh you bastards. Mr. Koizumi. You, is, is, is that, is, yes, yes. Oh, you teasing ass bags. Oh my God. But yeah, look, looking really nice though. Very, very adorable. That makes me wonder how this is gonna, gonna be, because I know there's another Peach game that came out quite a long while ago. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, I never played it, but uh, I remember seeing it and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so I'm curious to see some more of this, and Peach in general, you know, she's such a classic character at this point. And can stand on her own, you know, without Mario need to beat her to save her and Bowser there to kidnap her and all, you know, so I think this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Super Mario Bros. Wonder. 
I wonder. It sounds wonderful, I guess, if it's full. Oh, well, whatever. You know what? Let's check this one out. Another Super Mario game. Oh, God. Um... Uh, Oh, oh god, that's chunky. <laughs> I, really, I, I like the style of it so far. <laughs> That's a funny flower. Oh, damn. Did he change? Oh, my God. That's the. <laughs> oh, God. What kind of drugs was in that? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, what kind of. LSD trip is that? <laughs> Wonder Seed? Okay, okay, I think this is looking pretty fun. <laughs> oh god, the style is very like, I would say, a little bit more cartoonish, you know? I kinda like it. But yeah, what the fuck was that about? Was it like, LSD trip, yay! <laughs> <laughs> what the cat? <laughs> no. Ooh. Very. Oh my. I think it's just kind of neat An animations, man. Oh god. Uh, Yoshi! Makes me happy to see little Yoshi, man. <laughs> what? And yeah, nothing like a little bit of nuclear warfare, you know? Damn, that's cool. Aww. Well, this looks actually kind of nice. I mean, I think it's kind of amazing how they... I mean, and it makes kind of sense, you know? What the... What? He got a penis on his face? <laughs> okay, that is, that's something new. I did, never expected that. Super Mario Elephant, that's amazing. <laughs> well, that is kind of like, I was gonna say, it is funny how to see all these Mario games, and of course, they need to make them different, because they can't just make this very same game. I mean, obviously the core is the same, but everything around it is different. You know, they can't do, like, FIFA and have the same game for, like, 10 years. And then it just slightly changes. I mean, if you enjoy FIFA, good for you. But I don't. <laughs> so, but it's nice to see them trying to be different. And then we get Elephant Mario. Oh, my God. I never expected to see that. That's, that's, uh, that's amazing. That's really amazing. <laughs> oh, gosh. So the very last trailer we're going to be watching here today is Sonic Superstars. You know, I'm always game for some Sonic. Especially, you know, we have lots of hedgehogs out here. And I still have my battle scars after that one. He took my hat and ran with it. Damn you, Sonic. I'm actually working on my Eggman uh, persona. I just need to get a big red mustache. And uh, I am Dr. Eggman. Yes! <laughs> Damn you, Sonic! <laughs> I even have the body the form. Supersonic squad of superstars. Superstars. Sonic and friends are spin Oh yeah. A new 2D side-scrolling game, Sonic Superstars. As it should be. Zones away. Speed through beautiful worlds as Sonic. Sonic. Take to the skies as Tails. 
scale walls and glide as Knuckles. Knuckles. Or swing a powerful hammer as Amy Rose. Yeah. By harnessing the incredible power of the ba, 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 Chaos Emeralds, ba. you can summon a storm of clones. Uncover. That's a lot of Sonics. And so much more. Oh. And for the first time in the series, local co-op is available for up to four players. Okay, that is that is actually nice. It's got to be fun to play with friends. Combine your powers and take on the evil Dr. Eggman. Hey. Sonic Superstar. I'm not that evil. <laughs> Dude, that is that is looking nice. I, I I mean I like the old classic like uh, Sonic and stuff. You know, I think it's just generally really really fun. And uh, yeah, it is a classic. So this seems kind of fun to be honest. And being able to play with your friends like that—that's gonna be awesome. Because I remember you could play like two players vaguely. I re remember, I think. Hmm. Yes. On Dragon Quest Monsters, the Dark Prince. Oh. That's gonna be that looking neat, but you know what? We have checked some trailers here today, and uh, I'm kind of excited for some of them at least. Very excited to see like Metal Gear Solid and Super Mario RPG remake and stuff like that. It's gonna be fun, and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and that you see some games here that you are excited for. And uh, yeah, see you later, and I'll continue super great day.